good news for Star Wars The Bad Batch ending. The Bad Batch is set to conclude with its upcoming third season, meaning it can offer Star Wars some much-needed closure on certain storylines. Fans of Star Wars have long wanted to know more about the uncharted parts of the galaxy fair far away. The first film teased the Clone Wars, while the eventual revelation that Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's father sparked endless debate regarding Anakin Skywalker's descent towards the dark side. As the franchise progressed, more and more narrative holes were filled, but just as many new ones appeared. One of these previously unreported stories has been explored in Star Wars, The Bad Batch. The animated series The Bad Batch premiered during the conclusion of the Clone Wars on the day Order 66 was carried out and Palpatine became Emperor. While other shows, such as Star Wars Rebels and Obi-Wan Kenobi, have addressed the time between Star Wars. Episode III, Revenge of the Sith and Star Wars. Episode III, A New Hope, Only the Bad Batch has shed light on the Empire's earliest origin. More particularly, the series centered on the replacement of Republic clone troopers with Imperial stormtroopers. With season three guaranteed to be the final season of the Bad Batch, this key story in Star Wars can can finally find true conclusion. The Bad Batch's ending can pave the way for the Age of the Empire. Over the course of the first two seasons, the Bad Batch has discovered that their role in the galaxy is dwindling. While certain clones, including as Rex, Wolf, and Gregor, would go on to help the Rebellion, Clone Force 99 is not affiliated with the Rebel cause. Instead, they have become father figures to their younger clone sister, Omega, as they struggle to live. Because the members of the Bad Batch do not appear in any subsequent Star Wars storylines, Season 3 has the chance to wrap up their story in a meaningful and final way. In addition to Clone Force 99's battle to find a new home in the shifting galaxy, the Bad Batch has seen all clones face new challenges as the Empire works to decommission them in order to usher in the age of the Stormtrooper. The details of how and why the Empire replaced clones with Stormtrooper recruits, as well as the tale of what happened to the clones, have been major issues for the series and a large part of what has kept Star Wars fans tuned in. A commitment to completing the series with Season 3 ensures that this plot may be thoroughly addressed, with the Bad Batch illustrating the whole shift from the galaxy shown in the Star Wars prequels to the galaxy as seen in the original trilogy Under the Empire. How the Bad Batch differs from other Star Wars series. The third season was called its final season, distinguishing it from other contemporary Star Wars shows. While Andor is also nearing a climax, fans already know how Cassian Andor's narrative ends, but it remains unclear what will happen to the members of the Bad Batch. Other series, such as The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, and the impending Ahsoka, appear to have the flexibility to continue nearly indefinitely, with decades of narrative to cover before they run into the events of the Star Wars sequel trilogy. The Bad Batch might have continued its main protagonist's story past the birth of the Imperial Stormtrooper and into the period of the Rebellion, establishing them as rebel heroes or weapons for hire once clones had become a distant memory for the rest of the galaxy. However, by bringing their journey to a close, Star Wars provides fans with closure on one specific piece of its broad mythology. Ending on Season 3 also sees the series mimic the trilogy-based narrative of the Star Wars films, which is appropriate given that the conclusion of The Bad Batch will mark the end of an era. Finishing the series means putting an end to a time where clones had any place in the galaxy clearing up the prequel era's loose ends.